Ever wondered why the Philippines took two decades to upgrade their fighter jets? This question has intrigued many. The answer is rooted in the complex world of international defense deals and the ambitious Horizon 3 defense acquisition program. The program, designed to modernize the Philippines' armed forces, has been a journey filled with strategic decisions. A significant milestone has been the negotiations with Sweden, a potential player in the Philippines' defense modernization, the deal, the acquisition of a new fleet of fighter jets. It involves more than just purchasing jets, it's about incorporating a comprehensive defense solution like the Global Eye Airborne Early Warning and Control Plane that can truly revolutionize the nation's defense arsenal. The negotiations reflect the intricacies of international defense deals, where strategic interests, finances and geopolitical factors come into play. So after two decades the Philippines is on the cusp of a major defense upgrade. Now let's delve into the potential candidates that were considered for this crucial acquisition. First up, we have the top contender Saab's JS-39 Gripen. This Swedish-made multi-role fighter jet has been turning heads with its advanced capabilities. Known for its short runway requirements and efficient operational costs, the Gripen is a force to be reckoned with. Its modular design allows for quick upgrades and customization, giving it an edge in adaptability. But the Gripen wasn't the only aircraft in the running, Lockheed Martin's F-16 Fighting Falcon was also on the table. Known as the backbone of the United States Air Force, the F-16 is a well-proven, highly capable multi-role fighter. Its combat-proven capabilities and relentless power have earned it a solid place in the annals of military aviation. However, what seems to have tipped the scales in favor of Saab is their holistic defense solution. Saab is not just offering the Gripen, but a comprehensive package that includes systems like the Global Eye. The Global Eye is an airborne early warning and control plane, a game-changer in terms of situational awareness. This system can detect and track airborne, maritime, and ground targets, providing a complete picture of the battle space. Saab's holistic approach, combining the Gripen's adaptability and the Global Eye's advanced surveillance capabilities, seems to have given them a significant advantage. It's clear that Saab's holistic approach has given them an edge in these negotiations. As we approach the final stages of this deal, what can we expect next? It's the question on everyone's lips. While the specifics remain under wraps, the anticipation is tangible. The exact number of jets to be acquired, and the total cost are details still shrouded in mystery, adding to the suspense of this pivotal moment. This acquisition is more than a transaction. It's a powerful statement about the Philippines' commitment to modernizing its armed forces. A step forward in strengthening its defense capabilities, this deal signifies a move towards a more secure future. Let's consider the potential impact of this acquisition. With the addition of these state-of-the-art fighter jets, the Philippines is poised to bolster its air power. This isn't just about having more jets in the sky, it's about having the capability to respond swiftly and effectively to threats. It's about enhancing surveillance, improving reconnaissance, and ensuring the nation's security. And then there's the ripple effect. A stronger defense capability can lead to a stronger sense of national pride and confidence. It can also send a clear message to the international community about the Philippines' determination to protect its sovereignty, but it doesn't end there. As we've seen, Saab is offering a holistic defense solution. This means we could see the Philippines further boosting its defense infrastructure with systems like the Global Eye Airborne Early Warning and Control Plane. With this purchase, the Philippines is set to significantly enhance its defense capabilities, marking a new chapter in its military history. So, what have we learned today about the Philippines' defense acquisition program? At its heart, it's a two-decade-long journey towards modernizing the country's armed forces. After years of negotiations, the Philippines is on the brink of finalizing a significant purchase of fighter jets from Sweden, with Saab's JAS-39 Gripen emerging as a top contender. This isn't just about acquiring jets, it's about a holistic defense solution, including systems like the Global Eye Airborne Early Warning and Control Plane. The implications of this deal are profound. It signals a major step forward in the Philippines' Horizon 3 defense acquisition program, strengthening their defense capabilities, and potentially altering the balance of power in the region. Do you believe this deal will significantly enhance the Philippines' defense capabilities? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth analysis of global defense developments.